The new election security bill advanced to another committee Tuesday. If it passes, the bill will prohibit anyone convicted of an election-related offense from running an election and would ban local election officials from knowingly spreading misinformation. Let go of me, you're hurting me! Those sections of the bill appear to target Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters, who's charged with 10 counts in connection to an election security breach. Peters is now running for Secretary of State and says the bill and current Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold, are targeting her, telling KRDO, quote, this is not an elections bill. This is an attempt to further limit transparency into Colorado's election process. Soros operative Gestapo Griswold Senate Bill 22153 is a bald attempt to prevent anyone from knowing how our voting systems work. Among other things, it criminalized election officials' free speech. The Colorado GOP agrees that the misinformation section, quote, allows Griswold to become judge and jury as well. I, I don't have a I don't have a problem with the bill as a whole. Pam Anderson is a Republican running against Peters for Secretary of State. She says the bill's pretty fair. Do I think that there needs to be a further conversation for potential amendments? Um, yes, I do think this should apply to the Secretary of State's office as well. I don't think it should just apply to local election officials. Anderson is a former Jefferson County clerk, and unlike Peters, she says she's not an election denier. She wants to give the Republicans stability in the 2022 race. I've been extremely disturbed by some of the partisan rhetoric that we see not only from the state, but um, at certain places in the local level, like Tina Peters. And using the power of the office for um, raising your own political profile, I think that's wrong. Now, the bill still needs to be approved by the Senate and House before it can be sent to the governor for a final signature right now. Peters is out of jail on a $25,000 bond, and she's due back in court on May 24th. In the studio, I'm Spencer Soyscher for KRDO News Channel 13.